So I told my Viota that if she's okay with Terry dressing that way, and the town thinking that she's a lady of the evening, so be it. She says she's being all persecuted for embracing her femininity como a la Erin Brockovich. I don't know about that, but at Aunt Shirley's retirement party, you know the one I told you where Terry shows up and is all like, oh, I just came in straight from work. Shirley leaned over to me and she said, on the corner. That was messed up. But you know me, I don't like to stick my nose into anybody's business. Live and let live, that's what I say. Mm -hmm. Right. Speaking of work, I saved you the classifieds. Um, nobody does it like that anymore. It's online applications now. Well, whatever. All I know is that you've been on a break for almost three months now. You have to do something about it. And in the spunk that you're in, you have to snap out of it. Or, or take some medication. Yeah, I know. And this clothes, you're folding them all slow and sloppy. I practically folded this whole basket myself. <sighs> Do you want something to drink, Mom? Mm. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And now, filmed live before a studio audience, it's time for America's favorite Latin-flavored quiz show <laughs> with your host, the effective Chupacabra! Right, no! right, right. We have a game show to play. We've got our two contestants, the lovely Alex Capo. I'm from Houston, Texas. And our returning champion, Dr. Barr. I have 22 PhDs. One in Mexican-American studies. Let's get started! <laughs> <laughs> Basic Watch at the Rules. Texas Skoldum. Aquatics Wild. Holies Double Points. Indigy Scattered. Smothered Covered and Chunked. She's a rebel rousing Mexican painter that doesn't monkey around. Go. I'll take Frida Kahlo. Looks like we're starting off with Frida Kahlo. So Frida, what have you been up to? Painting. Whole lot of painting. Myself mostly. I mean, why wouldn't I? Now for the question. According to 100 screen freshman art students, who is the most badass female painter of the 20th century? That would be me, Chuck. I agree. Not that I really give two farts. But honestly, all I've really ever wanted is a child. But monkeys ain't so bad. Fantastic. 25 points. Dr. Barb, you win. Go get it. Who would you like next? Me? I'll take Pancho Villa. Really? Soy Emiliano Zapata. What's wrong with you people? Oh my God, really? Okay, let's go on to the next uh, everyone's favorite tag team, Supreme. El, El Koi Koi and Jeff? This is a terrible pronunciation. Uh, yeah, it's El Kukui and Jeff. El Kukui and Jeff! It's El Kukui and Jeff! Right? Right? Ah. Question. What do singer Ricky Martin, inaugural poet Richard Blanco, soldier Emilio Robles, and activist Leticia Gomez all have in common? They all... Love their mothers. Yeah, I guess. If love your mother was only code for gay. <laughs> Zero points. That lovable lass of industry, two time winner on Edward James, almost all star El Metal Metal Challenge, Snack Food Empire heiress, Sophia Tortilla, our gracious corporate sponsor. Thanks for keeping the lights on. So recently, you made the news as an outspoken advocate in the battle of childhood obesity. Oh, that's all true, Chuck. Our number one all-time bestseller, spicy red powder flavored everything, top the unhealthy charts. So that's why we made some changes I think we can all feel good about, like our spoon, or like our spoon of fruit pulp, made with spicy red powder, made with real fruit. Good stuff. Now for a question. 
What's the number one killer of Latinos in the U.S.? Who cares? Statistically, we don't. But one thing's for sure, all that number crunching can sure build up a thirst. That's why new this year, Tortilla Brands introduces Limonada Chingada. It's old-fashioned limonada just like your abuelita would make, with that extra added kick of danger. Wait, was that even an answer? And with that, saying? we'll be right back after this mini break. Yeah. Huachate is sponsored in part by Azteca brand Corn Husk Condoms for that indigenous feel. Deep below the love blue sea. Right, it's time for sideline bets. Lightning round. On deck we have La Virgen, La Llorona. Has anybody seen my kids? And Las Serenas, the mermaid <laughs> sister. Hello, sweetheart. Who said? Struggle is inner. Chicano, Indio, American Indian, Mojado, Mexicano, Immigrant Latino, Anglo in power, Working Class Anglo, Black Asian. Our psyches resemble the border towns and are populated by the same people. The struggle has always been inner and has played out in the outer terrains. Awareness of our situation must come before interchanges which in turn come before changes in society. Nothing happens in the real world unless it first happens in the images in our heads. Um... I'm not really that much of a reader, you know? And I'm more of a symbol, icon, uh, you know, uh, I have been co-opted for fashion and a popular tattoo. You know, who here hasn't? But if I had to guess, and I'll just take a wild stab at it, um, I'd say, uh, Tejana Chicana poet, Gloria Anseldua. What say you? I agree. Fantastic. Look out, here they come. The Serena sisters, Concha and Janie. <gasps> <laughs> All right, looks like we have our winner, Dr. Barr. Oh, God. Really? It's over? Isn't there like a bonus round? Like, my buzzer wasn't even working half the time. And, and the mermaids, are they okay? Are they okay? Well, looks like that's all for today's show. Uh, stay tuned next week. I'm your host, Chupacabra Jones. You're like, kill the mermaids. And be aware that there are always knowns and unknowns. But you always have to. Chupacabra! Hello? 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 Is everybody going home? Hey, who turned off the lights? Where's my drink? So that's when it struck me. My life's mission had manifested itself right before my eyes. And I was no chump. I could take a cosmic hint. So I sold everything I had, bought an El Camino, and my cousin Terry put in the rest. And Disaster Tamale was born. We would travel to where we were needed, wherever there were disasters and hungry peoples. Race rights, executions, acts of God, and assorted demonstrations, Disaster Tamale would be there with pay what you can tamales for the good guys and $8 tamales for the bad. Terry had even gone all schoolgirl bookworm brainiac and became a libro traficante, sneaking banned books into forbidden areas. And the money rolled in. And our ride rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> so good.